morning everybody. It is the first vlog since Costa Rica today and I'm rather excited. Are you blue? I have literally just got back from the gym. That's why I'm dressed. I'm dressed actually in my little see the change top dressing gown feeling very blue and wonderful. But yes, anyway, I've just got out of the shower because I went to the gym this morning and I thought that I would show you my like updated morning -y skincare thing before I get on with my day. So I've literally got nothing on at the moment. I'm looking very bare. I'm also fixing the eyelashes today, so we're gonna be okay. But basically, let me just pop into my bathroom. She's coming, come on. She's coming. Miles having a hoover. Give us a wave. <laughs> As I mentioned before, I went to Costa Rica, and also please excuse the bad lighting in this room. <laughs> it's very bad, my light's broken, so I popped a little lamp in front of me so that I can actually see something. And I'm kneeling on the floor, you know what I'm like? I did mention this before I went to Costa Rica, and um, I did kind of want to try this out properly before I chatted to you about it because I wanted to see if it worked for me, because I don't know if you watched the vlog where I kind of chatted about how I was getting very, very badly broken out around my hairline. And they were kind of like the breakouts which you can't pop, but they're like under your skin. Disgusting, I know. They were just kind of so painful. I don't know where they came from. They just came out of nowhere. But along with the products which I chatted about already, but I will put a few bits on today as well, this brush has saved my skin's life. Where's it gone? <laughs> so this is it. This is the little box it comes in. It's got a lovely cute little travel pack. It's a Vanity Planet facial cleansing brush. This one's called the Ultimate Skin Spa. And I love it. I don't know about you, but I love it. And Vanity Planet have very kindly collaborated with me on this video. So it does all the things my hand obviously didn't do. And obviously because I go to the gym a lot, I get quite sweaty. I'm quite a sweaty woman around my hairline. I get deep into the bits which my hands just can't do themselves. But first of all, what I'm going to do is give my face a bit of a wet and I'm sure people will be pleased to know that I have started using a cleanser. So I kind of avoided cleansers for a while because I used quite a dodgy one a while ago and it really broke me out. So I just avoided them but I have been using it. I don't use it every single day. I do use it a lot more now, especially after the gym because I've just got back from the gym. I need it clean. I'm using the silicone brush today because I actually find that it, I don't know, I feel like it gets in there a bit more. There are two kind of like softer, hairier brushes in here, but I haven't actually ventured to them yet. I'm sure they're good, but I like to really get in there. And also there are two settings on the brush, which I love because I actually use the fast one. So if you click it twice, you get a bit of a fast one. But I mean, it's good because I think if you've got more kind of sensitive skin and you want a bit more of a gentle wash, <laughs> the first setting's a bit better. Just do a little bit of a cleanse. Literally, since I've used this and all my new products in my glow box, which I got from Cult Beauty, this is Lydia Millen's collaborate. <laughs> What is going on over here? Let me just pause this a second. As I mentioned in my vlog before, I picked up Lydia Millen's glow box that she did a collab with Cult Beauty and the products are wonderful. I feel like it just radiates me even more. If you know me, like you know I like to be a glowy woman. Anyway, if you do want to try out that little brush, and I honestly would highly recommend. I did mention it on my Instagram story when I first got it, and so many people said that they have it and they love it. I did find it first, because obviously it's quite an intense clean. I don't think I ever clean my face that intensely. It did break my skin out a bit, but I think that's kind of normal, is first of all you break out and then you get better, because that's what's happened. So this is my skin now. There is nothing on it. And I don't know if you remember, but I always had these speckles along here. There is a few marks still, but they have gone. Like, I literally can't believe it. But yes, anyway, if you do want to grab that brush, I do have a discount code, actually, which I'll pop on screen and in the description box for 60% off. So a bit of a deal going on over there. And I will link the, the one that I use below. But I love it. It is a wonderful one. Then next up, I'm going to use another little product from my beauty box. So this is the Tata Harper Moisturiser. I'm sure you know this by now. I've worn it quite a few times in my vlogs. This is another of my glowy products. I think I was kind of always worried to have a skincare routine because I've experienced products in the past which were not good for me and my skin just didn't like much, but I feel like I've really found my routine. But yes, anyway, I'm just popping on my By Terry CC Serum in the shade Sunny Flash, which I'm also sure you probably know by now if you watch my videos. I've gone on about this product for about a year now, so it's a good one. And this one's a bit more of a glow with a tint, 
This one's a moisture-y glow. <laughs> if you know what I mean. That's my way of describing them anyway. That's kind of what I'll do day to day with my face and then, I mean, I wear makeup here and there if I have something going on. I actually am going to pop a little bit of makeup on today because I am just about to head out to have my eyelashes and my hair done. I think I'm going to go a bit of a blonde. So, let me just bring you out to my little office. I think I'm just going to pop you on the side while I put a few bits on because I need to rush off to my eyelash appointment. And then... We'll be good to go. We shall be good to go. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. So, I think I am mainly ready. I've popped on, please excuse <laughs> this mess. This is not actually a mess. This is still the giveaway stuff in my last vlog. The giveaway will have ended by the time this video goes up, but I did a giveaway in my last video. So ignore that. But um, yes, I've put a little outfit on. I feel like I'm a little bit looking like I'm going to bed, but it's okay because I'm just going to be sat for quite a long time in the hairdressers, so I just thought I'd go comfy. So I popped on my Gymshark Slounge in purple. I love them. I feel like I wear Slounge a lot, even more than I thought I would when I got them. They're just like the best thing to just, if you're just hanging about, you know? <laughs> and then I've popped on my little Zara platforms. These are actually getting a little bit on the dirty side. I think they need a clean. And they got a little rainbow insole. And then I popped a little cute top on. That says keep it cute. This is from Topshop, which I recently bought before I went to Costa Rica. Love it. And then this little Topshop denim jacket on, which I love too, because it's kind of like an oversized crop, which doesn't make much sense, but it does. I'm gonna get my eyelash extensions infilled because I've lost rather a few while I was away. And I'm feeling a bit naked. And then I also think I'm gonna get a bit more blonde in my hair. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, to be honest, but I kind of just wanna be a bit blonder. I still want it to have that yellow tinge. <laughs> which is really weird, I know, but you know. I'm going to my salon, which I always go to, called Glow Fulham. I did mention them in my last, in one of my latest vlogs about my eyelashes, and I actually think I forgot to tag them in the description box, even though I said I would. <laughs> but yeah, I will leave them in this description box, so I go to Glow for my hair and my lashes. They are incredible. They're the only people I trust in my hair. As I've said, when I went blonde, I just think they are the most amazing salon. They're so lovely as well, so I'll leave them in, in the description box. I did film my workout this morning, so I'm gonna pop it in now. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you To write our story, wanna shape the news very achy. I've done one leg workout since I've been back and my bum, my left bum cheek, I just felt it then. I just gave it a bit of a squish clench. Just that one cheek then, just to check that it was still in pain and it was. <laughs> but yeah, I did a really good but hard workout on Tuesday and I'm still aching very much so because it was my first proper leg workout back. So today my workout was very difficult and to be honest I probably should have taken a rest day but you know. I didn't. Do you know what? I've literally had the worst body clock since I've been back. I think I had such a good body clock in Costa Rica. I was waking up so early, going to bed nice and early like a little granny. Here, wake up late. Hate it. Hate it. And I'm always too tired to vlog. So that's why I'm starting my vlog now. But yeah. Anyway, that's enough for today. Well, no, not really. There's going to be more vlog. Are you going to go for a walk with daddy? Yes. I think so. <laughs> also, I'm just gonna show you, I picked up a bit of a lunch to take 
See, there's a bit of. I need to stop saying that before I describe everything. When I was editing my last video, I had to cut quite a few a little bit of because they're just so unnecessary and I'm sorry if it annoys you because it annoys me when I watch it back. It's a habit I need to leave behind in the... behind. <laughs> but yeah, I picked this up because I'm going to be in the hairdressers for a while and I don't want to go hungry. I always do that when I'm in hairdressers and I feel like I don't want to order something there and I don't want to leave because I've got something in my hair. So <laughs> I picked this up, which isn't amazing, but I did have it a few weeks ago and I really liked it. So it is technically a meal deal. <laughs> But it's one that I think is quite new, it's a Hoisson, I still can't say that word either, you know which one I mean, that one. Chicken noodle box, and it's really nice, so I picked that up. I've also got a little proteiny peanut thing somewhere in here, there he is, this one. It's not technically too much of a protein bar because it's only 7 grams of protein, but it's fine, we can deal. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna head out and later me and my friend are going to a really cool event which I'm gonna bring you in. So it's gonna be an exciting day of excitingness. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. Oh 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 She still does it. Don't know if you remember when she was a puppy and she used to do this. Okay, you can't lick the eyes right now. We just had them sorted out. <laughs> she likes to sit on heads. Ow, you're on my hair. Get away from me. Ow, okay, that's enough love. So, I am back. I thought I'd come outside actually so you could get more of a feel of the color. I've now got flowers in my hair from lying down there, which is not great, but I love it. It's kind of like a... <laughs> I call it yellow, but apparently that's not a good term for hair colour. But I kind of wanted like a yellowy gold. I didn't want a white. I don't know if you remember, but when I first had it done blonder, it was kind of this colour. But I think when we were in Costa Rica and Bali, the sun took away the like yellow vibe. But it's back. <laughs> and I love it. And also my eyelashes are done. <laughs> the sun's coming out now, so it's stopping me being able to show you. All done. Why are you staring at me? I had kills put in as well because I am going to the event tonight. I'm going to a cult beauty event. I'll show you the I'll show you the little invite so you know what it is exactly so I don't say something wrong. But I basically was in there a lot longer than I thought I was gonna be. So I don't have that much time now between having to leave and go meet my friend Meg. We have the same name, so it's gonna be a bit confusing tonight. <laughs> Niall has also trying a recipe out for a certain something. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a taste test. It's a tofu vegan. Wait, is the tacos vegan? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I googled it. Oh, look at the bronzer. I have no idea why I put makeup on this morning. Before you go to hairdressers, don't put makeup on because your bronzer is gonna go patchy. So we've got a vegan taco going on over here. But I shouldn't name all of it or like. Yeah, just name the details. it. They don't know what it's for. So the the tofu. <laughs> Tofu is just marinated in, what's it in? Coconut oil, like all the spices, like cumin, chili, cayenne pepper, and oh, maple fancy. syrup, which gives it a lovely sweetness. I like a sweet. And chili. So it's like spicy and sweet. And I like a bit of sweet delicious. and, not spice, but I like sweet and savory. No, that's why I, 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 was, I was wary of how much spice mm. I was putting in. Bit like minimal. This. Oh, he's got his own guac going on over here as well. Yeah, and uh, my own salsa. Oh, that's a chunky salsa. Do you know what? They really make two different kinds of salsas, don't they? There's either a chunky or like a completely squished one in a pot. Mm. I think I like this one better. Let me taste test on the vlog. Some guac. Look at it. This looks like a squidge. I don't want to eat on camera. <laughs> Oh, 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 a big crisp went down with me. It's a good one. It's something that's going on over here in this household. A bit of a secret taco thing going on. You'll secret never, taco organization. You'll know in July what's going on over here. Right, I think I have decided what I'm going to wear. Basically dress like I'm still in Costa Rica. Just like I did when I got back from Bali. Still dressing like I'm on holiday, but I'm not. But we're gonna deal. So, you will have seen these two things separately when I was in Costa Rica. So I popped on this little orange crop top. This this crop top feels like it's getting more and more cropped every time I wear it. Like, now it's basically a line. I swear there was more to it before. Don't know, maybe it's just me. But this is from Pretty Little Thing and I still love it. It is just very small. <laughs> 
very small but we've got a long sleeve so it's okay because the arms are covered and then these little flares are from nasty gal and i love them and these colors actually go really nicely together because there's a bit of this orange in this stripe it's a good one only thing is i just cannot decide what shoe to do so i feel like my yellow heels would work really well with this outfit but i'm too scared to wear a heel don't know about you but i'm not a heel girl so it's quite it's quite an event when i wear a heel so i'm not sure yet i may wear a sandal i wore flip-flops with these flares when i was away but i can't really do that in london i would look like an absolute strange person going to this is a carnival event let me show you actually so this is the invite celebrate a decade the very best of beauty it's a cult carnival and you're a vip feeling a bit special over here and we're supposed to dress to the nines because we are 10 so i've gone for a i think i'm still in costa rica but i'm actually in london with a flip-flop i'm with meg oh my phone's covering up the lens we're currently in old street in east london trying to find the venue and Meg just took a picture for me for my Instagram. Lots of boobs popping out everywhere. So the day of drag is back. Because <laughs> we call it bras. We're, yeah, so yeah, we're, say, we're both just boobless women with crop tops. <laughs> At least yours covers more. There is a, there's a strip. <laughs> also, I decided on the sliders. So I was gonna do the rainbow bag, but I thought it was a little bit too much. So I decided on the rainbow shoe with the yellow bag and a stripy leg, so. We got a lot of colour pop, even Meg's colour popping with the pink. I think we have found it. We were very lost. We found it! We thought it was down an alleyway. It wasn't. <laughs> I just had some pop chips, so I think she can taste the barbecue on me. It was a really fun event. I met some really nice people actually as well. I met some of the kind of beauty Instagram YouTubers, which was nice that I, I already follow, but I haven't actually met in person yet. So I feel like I'm meeting quite a lot of new people recently. It was good. I've still got some glitter on my collarbone as well. Look, Blue, she's got some glitter on her head. Can we go for a walk in the morning? Yes, darling. <laughs> I think I might vlog our walk because Bluebell didn't get a walk in this vlog and I don't feel like I want to quite end it here yet. I might not quite end the vlog, I might film in the morning a little bit too just because I feel like it. <laughs> Bluebell's having her own party over here. <laughs> it's quite difficult to kind of vlog in situations like tonight's event because everyone's just mingling and there's quite loud music but I think I got a few little bits like when we got our glitter and stuff so it's okay. But I will see you in the morning and so will Bluebell and so will Niall. Pop's not here at the moment because basically, I haven't really explained this, Poppy stayed at my mum's because in a few days we're actually going away again. It wasn't supposed to be this way where we travelled so much but it all kind of happened out of nowhere so we only had a few days in between coming back from Costa Rica and going back away and Poppy doesn't travel that well. With cats I think kind of adjusting to new environments is a little bit more stressful so we decided to leave her there because when I went to my mum's to pick up Bluebell, she was so happy and so kind of, don't know, she just seemed like zen. <laughs> I just didn't want to remove her from the situation. <laughs> that is one word I never thought we'd hear Poppy described as. No, I know. Zen. Poppy is not usually zen, but she seems quite happy now. Also, my mum's dog, Jessie, is quite ill and kind of, well, she's very old, as you will have seen if you've seen my vlogs when I've showed her, but um, my mum's got a cavalier like us, and she's not very well, so I kind of wanted to leave an animal with her as well, because I thought it would be quite nice for Jessie and for my mum, because my mum's just there by herself. We will be taking Bluebell back soon. But anyway, I will be back in the morning for a little dog walk, because I want to show you Bluebell fetching her sticks, because she's been loving that lately, haven't you, Blue? She is the cutest dog I've ever known, this one. But anyway, I will see you in the morning, and good night. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. 
everybody. I can't see anything because the sun's in my eyes, but it's the next day and we're going for a walk. I'm feeling a bit fragile after those GNTs. Are you? <laughs> Are you? A little bit, yeah. You bloody alcoholic. I only had like four. It's quite a lot. But we are currently off on a little dog walk this morning, on this very sunny morning. I'm a bit hot in my denim jacket. I've dressed for the gym, so I go straight to the gym. I've popped on my dreamy shorts and this old little bra, which I love, which they need more colours in because it's the cutest. You know which one I mean? I think it's called the Elite. 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 <laughs> but yeah, we are off on a little dog walk. I might get a freshly squeezed orange juice. I don't know why I found that so hard to say. And it's going to be great. It's a lovely warm morning in a big old London with a big Nile. <laughs> don't tense that arm. We picked up a bit of a picnic on the way. Well, <laughs> kind of breakfast picnic. It's a rubbish picnic. Well, I've already had breakfast too, so. I have got a fresh orange juice. Let's have a little peek. Can you open my lid? Ta -da. <laughs> there we go. That's my orange juice. I picked up some amaretto biscuits again because I'm obsessed, aren't I, Blue? Yeah. And Niall's got a nice coffee. She got it. It's a bit big. Oh, it's coffee! It's scrappy love. It is. Scrappy daffy do. Hey, scrappy. Hey. <laughs> this is Bluebell's friend, Scrappy. Oh, boy, I've named him Scrappy because he's got shaggy fur. <laughs> he's so cute. I don't know if it's a he actually. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, nah. So I think I might end this little vlog here. I think it's gonna be quite long by now because I've I think I've vlogged quite a lot over the past two days. So I'm gonna leave it here and just want to say thank you for watching. Bluebell says thank you for watching. She's very hot after playing fetch. Not the greatest at dropping the stick and bringing her back, but she can fetch. Look at that tongue. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much if you watched. And we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Niall, any thoughts? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it real. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs>